Hi everybody, welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation and another review of another pad maker. Um, this pad maker, in case none of you have recognised the maker, is an ex maker called Kitty Cat Cloth. She is from Maryland in the US. Um, and uh, these two here are the oldest that I have from her, which is like a Christmas print. Ironically, it is December and this fish print. Uh, most of her stuff comes in a cat, um, this cat style. Um, but you can also get these kind of rounded ones. And this is a little mouse um, print one. Like that. So this is kind of a front back bleeder. And... Uh, this one here. This actually came as part of a set with a cup uh, spot in the same design and a cup pouch in uh, the same kind of uh, OBV fabric and the pouch was lined with this type of uh, fabric as well. Um, this kind of starry night fabric. Um, and the rest of the fabric that she lines all of her stuff with is uh, usually uh, a kind of a P-well cotton fleece backed. Okay, so um, this one here is six inches and this one here is um, a seven inch and these ones here um, so essentially one, two, three, four are all 7.25 inch this one here is 8 point, these two, and these two here are 8.5 inches. Um, so these are all topped in hand dyed OBV, so which is um, organic, organic bamboo velour. Um, and so this is this print. Again, um, if you've seen my review of Miss Andrew May products, you'll notice that I wear liners every day and can quite have a um, high pH balance for discharge. Um, this mark here is one of them. I think these are the only two I've got them on, but I guess we'll find out as we continue to review. Um, these are great stuff. They're very high quality. They're very well made. Um, this, the, the reason it's a bit kind of dusty is because of my washing machine. <laughs> Um, but uh, this kind of poly fleece uh, P-Well hybrid back haul um, can get a bit um, interesting. Uh, little star poppers, if you've noticed some of them have star poppers. Um, this one has grey star popper, this means it's light. Um, she does have like a snap. Um, this little mouse has hearts. Um, I have ordered a couple of her front bleeder stuff um, for my sister who is a front bleeder. She, she's kind of got these cats um, which have the legs sitting here and then the pad bit out here with the snaps here for front bleeders. Um, obviously I'm not one of a centre bleeder but I bought them for my sister. Um, so she goes her, uh, how she differentiates her pads is that her White snaps are lights, pink snaps are moderates, and black snaps are heavy. Um, her stuff is very well made, very soft, very, very soft. The prints are adorable, and obviously they always come out um, a little bit different. These are kind of the ones I have as liners. Um, with this fishy print, so this pink one. She's classified as a moderate. I use it as a light because of the size. Um, I tend to prefer around an 8 inch for a liner. Um, for those of you who are unsure of my voice maybe being a bit too low, uh, I am getting a mic, so um, that should help with noise control. Um, and this one here, see, this doesn't really fit in with the um, snap process because it's like a green. Um, this is this hybrid PUL cotton um, in comparison to, say, this type of flannel back. But all of them come with uh, hidden PUL in them and flannel, heavy flannel in there um, as cores. So uh, you don't have to worry about going through. I have been wearing kitty cat cloth while I've uh, got 
my period on my first day I've never bled through they are pretty thick they can get pretty hot in summer um she does have very cute snaps so these are this is like a teal green and this is like a blue um, and as you can see the prints are pretty amazing and this is kind of one of the benefits of getting hand dyed OBV um, there are so, some other um, makers that will um, go through that you'll see um, in the future that are uh, also hand dye um, and really the benefit of this is that you're getting a product that no one else is going to have you know that product's not going to ever come out like that again um, so you can have a very individualized period um, this was just a recent thing these are probably about six orders from uh, kitty cat cloth so um, obviously as things have gone over and developed again these two here are my oldest and I've probably had these um, over a year probably 14 months maybe um, my most recent one were these ones um, because of the Halloween print um, so as you can see this is an older one that doesn't have the L on the snap um, to be honest each maker is different when it comes to distinguishing what type of uh, pad it is where it's, where, uh, if it's thick um, where it's light, moderate or heavy um, sometimes as you can saw, as you saw uh, maybe with the Venus pads one it was in um, there was a tag um, under the snap on the inside um, with kitty cat cloth she sometimes designated them here and sometimes designates them by her uh, snap car um, so there's a great level uh, another maker I have which I'll review at a future date called go with your flow designates them by using the stitching to put in stars um, there is a great level of inconsistency um, in designating whether they're uh, liners, lights, moderates or heavies. Um, don't know. <laughs> I, would, I would like to see uh, possibly a kind of agreement between all makers just to say, hey, this is what we're doing. But that obviously is dependent on what the maker's doing and where the maker is and if the maker has the resources to get, you know, tags or snaps or stars or stitch stars into it um, and these ones are uh, okay I think this one's an 8 and this is an 8.25 because um, this one is slightly bigger um, again this is probably one of my latest orders it is a cat Halloween with a pumpkin again it is uh, organic bamboo of the lower topped um, it is a uh, flannel and organic cotton fleece cord and this is like a PUL cotton hybrid backing um, again with the light designation on this uh, snap this, I'm not sure what colour this is coming up with the camera it is such a beautiful teal colour I pretty well much bought three or four pads with this um, this is my moderate collection from her and uh, as you can see I bought a collection of three this is my last order from her um, to actually get this kind of backing because it's just a phenomenal color um, her stitching's flawless um, I'm starting off really well out the gate with my reviews just because I've grabbed um, quite a few of my favorite makers to bring them out first um, I think it kind of gives a really good indication um, that the standard of this industry can be quite high um, and I would mainly wear um, this type of uh, pad from a maker on Etsy um, these also have the cutest buttons I think this one too, does too so as you can see cutest buttons ever um, love these buttons I, w I would want these types of buttons on like all of my um, pads if I could um, I think they're only on these two though this cat print yes I do have two of the exact same print exact same backer um, organic bamboo floor and uh, fleece hybrid, hybrid. Um, 
because it's just such a cute print and these cute little stockings this here is a um, 10 inch so um, this is a, another light as we're working our way through how great this product is um, she does have quite a consistent shape that she makes this is a fish shape heart snap um, probably Kitty Cat Cloth is the one I've seen use, use the most amount of diversity in her snaps um, which is great the most uninteresting colour to back with though I'm not a particularly big fan of this uh, colour at all it's kind of a bit of a boring colour um, but you know that's the back in anyway um, for those of you who have uh, who aren't too sure which way to wear your pads up and generally the easiest way for you to tell is your topper will have this type of top stitching and will always have this type of stitching on the um, front um, that will not necessarily up the center but they might have um, one around the side um, if you've watched a couple of my other reviews, if you watch the Missandry Maid review, she does one, two, three stitches on the front, but on the back you won't find anything on this topper, or on this backer. You won't find anything except a round stitch. So, again, here you'll see that the core is stitched to the topper, And that's like that in all, I mean, obviously Kitty Cat Cloth does her one down the centre. Miss Andrew May does hers in a circle. Um, I believe Hannah Paz does theirs, her, their, um, theirs in a circle as well. But you'll see as we go through that the chopper will generally be obvious because there'll be more stitching attached to the topper. If you look at the Venus pads, she has quite a decorative stitch um, on this topper. Um... So this is another uh, light. Okay, so back to the moderates. Um, these ones here. Okay, so 10 inch, 10.5 inch. These ones are all 10.5 inches. Again, these are all hand dyed organic bamboo velour. This one here is this kind of fleece backed but you'll find that this one here is a um, organic pea well uh, and cotton backer as you can see the difference, if you can see the texture, the difference between the two um, you'll, also, you'll also notice with these two the difference in her design um, patterns that um, this is a kitty cat crown, this is just kitty cat ears and this is just a simple, um, a round, more rounded base, and this is a cat leg base. This one's got star poppers. Um, and these all snap down to um, 2.5 inches. Um, this again, this great backing. Love this backing, love this colour. And this poppy here is amazing. So, as you can tell, I am actually really, really like her work. Um, these are all pretty similar um, ones. Um, again, these three are from the same, this one, and these two are from the same uh, purchase. I would definitely recommend you go in and get um, stuff. Again, backed in this beautiful backing. And got heart, these have got hearts that star snap. Um, this one was a very weird colour. It has this very neon backing. It's the same backing as this one. Just a different colour. The snaps line up as well, if you can tell. Um, and this is a type of stuff that you really probably look for, because it's really unconscious when you're actually probably getting them, but when you have them in your stash, these type of match-ups and hook-ups really make a difference. This is the fishtail Indian one, kind of backed in this unexciting fleece backed. Um, and these two are my overnights. Um, I 
I think I wore this last cycle but I don't really wear these that lot because they're very big at the back um, and I tend to be um, a very much a centre bleeder when at night but I do come off the top quite a bit um, as well as out the back I'll come out both so this doesn't really have the front coverage that I need um, because the front coverage is only you know here and this is the back coverage um, so these will probably find themselves um, into a D stash um, and they're backed in this P1 cotton hybrid and this flannel fleece and of course the snaps are perfect um, in line with the colour scheme. If you can get some kitty cat cloth, please do. She is worth it. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day.